visited, I was 100% sure that I was going to come here. And the reason for that is that when I was visiting classes and going to assemblies and even like in the cafeteria or in the library, you could just feel that people are so excited to be here. The teachers at Friends Central are really incredible, honestly. I mean, my favorite thing about Friends Central has to just be overall the academic quality. There's definitely an emphasis on the process of learning, not just the end result of going to whatever college you want. You have to come prepared to, to work, but it, everything is not just, you know, one way. You can, the teachers teach you to, you know, decipher problems different ways. And I think that's one thing that, that I've learned at the school. And going to a school like Prince Central has just made me eager to learn more. You know, if I don't know something, you know, I, I now go home and, you know, look it up and, you know, find out about it. And, you know, that's something I wasn't doing before. And I see people, you know, who start at this school and then, uh, you know, a couple years later, I see they're doing the same thing. I've never experienced a teacher here who only looked at me for what I was doing academically. They actually care about you in a very, like, significant way. But also the teachers are incredible at doing their jobs, at teaching, and that in I know that, like, for example, my American history class with Dr. Graham and my modern neuro and my Capcom classes with her, my English classes with Dr. P, that I just learned an incredible amount and not just like wrote information, but the just I really enhanced my analytic skills. And I know that sounds really cheesy, but <laughs> it's really true also. If you look if you listen to a lit discussion that it really is the teacher sitting in a circle with the students adding and giving, but listening a lot too. My favorite teacher with Friends Central would probably be John Gruber. He teaches foundations and botany. I do entomology stuff, so I work with insects a lot, and that's because of what he did, like how he introduced me, where he takes kids off to go collecting insects in the Midwest. And because of that, I found like a new passion. And I work in the Academy of Natural Sciences now because of what he introduced me to. Junior year U.S. history, I had um, Mr. Rosengarten, and he transformed the way I thought about history. I loved U.S. history so much. The daunting um, junior year paper that we had to do, I looked forward to because I had him. The American history paper, for example, is something is a larger assignment than most high schoolers will do in possibly their entire, actually no, it's more larger than most people will do in their entire lives. It's unusual that people will write a 10 page um, academic style paper using primary sources in sort of any field. And the fact that they just sort of guide us through that process and like show us how to break down these seemingly just giant assignments or these challenges into much smaller components that are easy to tackle is something that's just really useful. And it's, Friends Central does a million things like this. My senior year math teacher, Miss Plunkett, she is a wonderful person. I've always loved math. Like, math has always been my favorite subject. But then, the way she taught it, how enthusiastic she was about math, and how just happy and positive of a person she was. She, she's so enthusiastic every day, and it just really reminded me why I love math so much. I've had math classes where you know, I've been, when, where my teacher has brought students up to the front of the room to explain their approach to a method because she didn't think to approach it that way. Um, there's not a drop of pretentiousness in the way that teachers talk to us, and it really does feel like a learning experience that is, you know, giving feedback on both sides. Well, every year I'm amazed at the, uh, sort of the magnitude of the guest speakers that we can bring in to campus. Um, we've had uh, Jared Diamond, author of Guns, Germs, and Steel. I mean, I was just blown away when I um, got the chance to hear him speak on our campus and also read his, some of his work and interact with him. Um, you know, that was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Um, it's one thing to read someone's book, it's another thing to sit down and have lunch with the authors. You'll never experience a teacher who's not willing to come in early for you or stay after for you. Um, it's funny, when I'm looking at colleges, I'm reading all these things about office hours and, you know, when teachers are available. I've had teachers stay till 8 o'clock with me. I've had teachers have lunch meetings with me. I've had teachers come in at 7 um, to work with me. And I think that it's, it's just something that is part of Friends Central, that they care. They, you know, it's a genuine care about how you're doing, how you're feeling about the material you're learning, how you approach it. Friends Central encourages this, like, freedom that just doesn't exist anywhere else. 
just do what and pursue whatever passion you have and to really accomplish incredible things.